Wait up, y'all. I need to concentrate. Okay, Wake is awake, and he has to fight the evil Wake, Mr. Scratch, otherwise known as Alan Sleep. But he doesn't care, cause Alan Wake can kill a bulldozer with a flashlight. Warlin Door is over there. You think he's nice, but he is mean. He has to interview Wake, because Alan Wake is a famous writer, portrayed by the Finnish actor Ilka Vili in the live action segments, but voiced by the American actor Matthew, who is also Dr. Casper in their last game, Control, which had an Alan Wake DLC. In the game, his novels are based on a Max Payne-like character called Alex Casey, who looks like the real-life writer of the game Sam Lake, who appears as himself in Alan Wake 1, and also looks like Max Payne in the game Max Payne 2 and Alex Casey in Alan Wake 2 and both characters are voiced by James Gunn, but it isn't really Max Payne because that IP is owned by Rockstar Games. Now, because it is written by Sam Lake, Alan Wake is trapped in an evil lake called the Dark Place, which is just New York. You can switch between Alan and Saga stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. You also play as a new protagonist called Saga Anderson, who teams up with an FBI agent called Alex Casey. Alex Casey? Who looks identical to the actor who portrays Alex Casey in the movies based on Alan Wake's books. And he's also a detective voiced by James Gunn, but it's just a coincidence. Saga has psychic powers and her daughter drowned because so did Alan Wake's wife because he is just a reincarnation of the writer Thomas Zane whose wife drowned. But what's fucked up is that Alan Wake no longer has access to brand name batteries. Alan Wake to screenplay, I like to print it out. Remember how Max Payne was like a comic book but then it had a TV show in the game? Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Alan Wake 2 is the pinnacle of this. In the first game, you watched commercials for Verizon Wireless. In Alan Wake 2, you watch commercials about this kind of stuff. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. And you can go into the movie theater level and watch an entire movie directed by Thomas Zane, father of Max Zane. Tap that, you fucking piece of shit game, Cartfield. What's the best part of Alan Lake is the music because the lyrics are so real to reality. For this whole game, I never knew where to ever go and then the song came on and went, I lost my way, lost my way. Now this video is over, but we still have to talk about the one more part of the game where they go, show me the champion of light. You know what I'm talking about. Mm, champion of light. This guy knows what I'm talking about. I give you the herald of darkness. Alan Wake 2 is a psychological survival horror game. <laughs>